Hello again, it's AJ Holland here and today I'm here to demonstrate the fixing of modwood clever clips to both kiln dried timber joists and metal joists. Recently we introduced a range of powder coated clips to complement our existing range. The new clips have a few new features although the working principles are exactly the same. They come in both galvanised and stainless steel versions for the 88 and 137mm sizes. These new clips will add 3mm to the height of the joist. Firstly, you need to consider the set out of your deck, which fascia you are going to use and whether you are going to have an overhang with the front board or whether it will finish flush with the deck. Full board widths are recommended for the front of your deck. Starting from the outside front edge of your deck, place a clever clip on each side of your outer joists. Bearing in mind both ends of the clip hold half a board and the position of this front board will govern where the first clever clips will be positioned from the end of your joists. For an overhang, when using the 88mm modwood clip we recommend the first clip be flush with the front of your joist and for the 137mm the clip be positioned back approximately 20mm from the front of your joist. When using the overhang method for timber joists Use 25 by 25 mil aluminium angle along the length of your deck. For a flush finish, simply cut at the base of the last upright so its base finishes flush with the end of the joist, making sure the clever clips are sitting squarely on the outside joists. On the powder coated range of clips, this is the single knuckle nail end. To achieve a flush finish, you need to squeeze off the two external teeth. When installing the KT88G and KT88S, you'll need to cut the base of the second last upright with snips on the outer edge from the end of the clip. It doesn't matter which end, they're identical. This allows you to use the clever clip upright to secure the front edge deck board, but on the KT137 and all the powder coated range of clever clips, you can cut the base on the last upright, making sure the clip is the correct way around. Once you've decided which method to use, we suggest you place your other clever clips on the end joist towards the end of the house to check the squareness of your deck, thus ensuring the last deck board size against the house is not too small. The powder coated range of modwood clips now have a knuckle nail built into the clip. This makes for fast, easy but temporary fixing of the clip to the timber joist. These knuckle nails won't penetrate steel joists, so simply flatten them with a hammer prior to installation. For timber joists, use 8 gauge 30mm galvanised button head or countersunk screws or 32mm by 3.15 galvanised connector nails or equivalents. For metal joists, use 10 gauge 18mm galvanised wafer head self drilling screws with a head size less than 2mm. When fixing stainless steel clips, please use stainless steel equivalents, not galvanised screws. If stainless button head screws aren't available, you may need to use stainless countersunk screws. When working with steel joints, it's important to put a thin coat of polyurethane adhesive sealant between the clip and the joist. This helps to protect the joist against corrosion. When fixing clever clips to the joists, firmly press down on the top of the clips, making sure they don't move and are sitting squarely on the timber or metal joists. When fixing modwood clips to timber or metal joists, use one screw per board width for the 88mm clips and for the 137mm, use two screws per board width. Now that the outer side clever clips have been securely fastened to the joists, run a string chalk line from one of the outer side clever clips across the inner joist on the deck to the other outer side of the clever clip. Using this chalk line, you can then correctly position the remainder of the front clever clips onto the other internal joists. These are the approved adhesives for use with clever clip. Don't use water based. Apply a 10 mil high bead of adhesive in the middle of the clip. Place the full length of the groove side into the claws down one end and just walk the board into the clip. Alternatively, lightly tap the boards in with a rubber mallet. Try and avoid walking on top of the newly laid deck boards until the adhesive is set. After you've inserted each board, it's good practice to use the fixing tool to tap the upright back to the vertical position. Remember not to overhit the fixing tool. All that's required is just one light tap. At the top of each clever clip upright, you'll see a notch. 
This notch is designed to line up with each of your butt joints and is approximately the 2mm gap required for mod wood. Apply two 10mm high beads of adhesive to both the outer sides of the clip. It's important that your butt joints are square and line up with the notch in the clever clip upright, otherwise the deck board end may not engage correctly with the clever clip claw. At the butt joints, it's important that you use the mod wood 2mm spacer that comes with each pack. I get asked regularly how much to cut off the nozzle of my adhesive gun. I recommend a third at 45 degrees. Now that you've completed your first front row of clever clip and boards, it's time to fix the remainder of the clips to the joists. Simply place the clever clips at the back end of the previous clip, making sure that both clips are hard up against each other. You can design your deck width to suit full clever clip lengths. However, in some cases, you may have to cut the clever clip to fit. This will happen at the back of the deck, generally against the house end. Clever clip is designed to either take a half board width at this end, or you can cut the clever clip with snips to utilize any board width. If you have chosen the overhang method for your front board and have timber joists, use 30 by 30 mil aluminum angle along the length of your deck. Drill holes through the aluminium angle at each of the joist ends and screw fix to your joist ends making sure the aluminium angle is 3mm above the top of the joist flush with the top of the rib of the clever clip. The outside board is supported by the clip and the aluminium angle and is bonded with adhesive. Push the board tight onto the adhesive and tap it along and install a screw through the angle onto the underside of the board. Common practice is to use a board as your fascia on the outside line of your joist. You'll need to take a rebate out of the back corner to compensate for the aluminium angle and screws. This will allow the fascia board to sit flush hard up against the end of the joists. For metal joists, once again using the standard half board end of the clever clip, drill a small hole around 2mm in diameter in the top middle of all metal joists. Apply adhesive and insert a screw upwards from inside the metal joists into the bottom side of the mod wood. When fixing to steel joists, you need to attach multi-grips to one side of the steel joist, which allows you to fix the fascia from behind. Be sure not to fix more than one board so it doesn't cut off your access when you come to screw the fascia off. Check out our building products on our website. Hello again, I'm AJ Holland from Clever Clip and today I'm here to show you three of our building products. This is our adjustable joist support. It's specifically designed for building decks over concrete slabs when you don't have a lot of height to work with. It'll keep the bottom of your joist dry and help prevent them from rotting. This is our adjustable bearer support. It's specifically designed for building decks approximately 300 millimetres to 600 millimetres above the ground. You adjust it by winding it up and down then locking it off with the nut. This is our new joist connector. It's designed for attaching 45mm joists to 90, 70 and 45mm bearers. Our joist connector is easy to use and provides ventilation to the bottom of the joist. It offers a far more positive connection than the current traditional skew nail method.